winter, spring, summer, or fall. All you have to do is call. It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Jane Pauley. You've got a friend. You've got a friend is just one of Carol King's many memorable hit songs. No wonder a musical on Broadway devoted to her life and work celebrated its fifth anniversary last night. And what a celebration it was, as Gail King of CBS This Morning now shows us. You've got to get up every morning with a smile It is possible, even likely, that many people in the audience of Beautiful, the Carole King musical, know most of the songs by heart. I sure do. As you feel. I still have my tapestry album. So far away. Yeah. Hasn't anybody Stay seen in this one place. place anymore? It would be so fine to see your face at my door. When I meet people and they come up to me apologetically, I know you've heard this a million times. And I say, but never from you. And I really want to hear from you. What did you feel? Well, there was a lot of feeling last night at the Stephen Sondheim Theater, where actress Chalina Kennedy portrayed the legendary singer-songwriter. One of us is changing, or maybe we just stop trying. But near the end of the second act, something remarkable happened. Chalina Kennedy stayed in the wings, and Carol King took the stage. You got to get To a stunned audience, King played herself. to celebrate the fifth anniversary of Beautiful, an international hit that tells her life story. I've had an amazing life, absolutely amazing. A teenager from Brooklyn goes to Manhattan in the late 1950s to sell her songs. Not long after, at college, she meets lyricist Jerry Goffin, marries him, works with him, and eventually loses him. And along the way, she writes or co-writes the songs many of us grew up with. You just call out my name And it's too late, baby, now it's too late You're so far away But it's something of a miracle that Beautiful ever got to Broadway. I didn't want this show to happen in the first place. At a workshop reading of the musical, King kept her coat on. I'm wearing sunglasses, I take off the backpack, and I sit in the back like this with my arms around my backpack. It's I like was... the fetal position upright. Yes, yeah. and also poised to leave. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I went out into the ante room and I said, I've got to get some air. I can't stay for the second act. I cannot watch the second act because I knew what <laughs> generally. You know how this story goes. Yes, and yes. there are more painful moments. But King realized this show might work and ultimately gave it her blessing with one caveat. I will never go see it. I can't watch the second act. You're my guy. Jerry. That's the point when husband Jerry Goffin has a breakdown. I don't know what's happening to me. He had already so told you... King he was incapable of being faithful. I can't keep going like this. I'd like to know that you're... So when the musical opened on Broadway in January 2014... I didn't go to opening night. Jerry was alive then. He did, and he is portrayed as someone who causes hurt to Carol in the show, and he did. And the people who loved Jerry, who were part of the production, made him not a villain, rightly so. Mm -hmm. He always felt bad about having caused me pain, and to the end of his life, I'm sorry I caused you so much pain. <laughs> and he wasn't a villain. He had mental illness. What does that mean he from your standpoint? He was bipolar, although they didn't call it that then. I think they called it manic depressive. He drank some, mm -hmm. you know, he'd have a little more to drink each night, mm -hmm. and then he started smoking pot, and then other drugs started to come into the picture, and at some point he, what we then called, flipped out. After attending the opening, Goffin told his ex-wife that he loved the show, 
Still, it took King another three months to finally come to the theater. Where did you sit? Way on the left, near an exit door that went backstage. I am feeling like the most important thing at this moment is that nobody figure out that I'm me. Yep, that really is Carol King in the disguise she wore that night. And I knew that nobody would recognize me as long as I didn't speak or smile. As the show unfolded, I'm like, oh my God. God, this is so good. Close to you, you make me feel so alive. One of the show's most emotional moments is their mega hit song, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, which King and Goffin wrote in one night back in 1967 for Aretha Franklin. He gave me the lyric. Looking out on the morning rain, he just wrote it out, and I'm playing this. And Makes me feel so but inspired. I'm looking. I have this gift where if I see the lyrics, and sometimes I just sit at the piano, and it just comes out, just like you heard it. And if there were ever a definitive performance of that song, just watch the Kennedy Center Honors from three years ago, when Aretha brought down the house. Here's what surprised me. She sits at the piano. She's playing. I was knocked out because she's such a gifted piano player. Every note she sang, everything she did. Oh my God, I can't. And she did that? Oh my God. I'm thinking, if I was Carol King, that would be one of the highlights of my life. It is. Carol King will turn 77 next month, and she says her life is truly beautiful. I have so much love in my life that I don't need a man to have love in my life. I have love in my life from many men and many women, friends and family, and I now feel that I belong to the world and to myself and to what people refer to as how they understand God.